It's a snowmobile toy. And look, it's me, Blippi. <laughs> I am so excited to play with this snowmobile toy in this winter wonderland. <laughs> Let's open it up and play with the snowmobile toy. Oh, okay. I'm gonna set this stuff down right here, but I'll come back later and pick it up when we're all done playing with the snowmobile toy. So this snowmobile is the color orange. Whoa. And it even comes with a snowmobiler over here. Yeah. Okay, that's almost all screwed out. Ooh. Wow. Oh, there we go. Wow. Look at the snowmobile and the tracks. <laughs> okay, let's play with the snowmobile in the snow. But first, before we do that, I need to get on some winter gear because this snow is really cold. <laughs> okay, come this way with me. We'll be back for you, snowmobile. <laughs> All right, first gear of my winter gear, my snow pants, and they're bright orange. Okay, let's put them on. I'm not getting cold from the snow now. Okay, let's get on some more snow equipment. <laughs> Look at what it is. These are my snow boots. Whoa, and they are the color blue. <laughs> yep, you know me, blue and orange. Okay. me fall <laughs> that was funny okay now I got my orange snow pants on and my blue boots yep now I can walk in the snow I can twirl in the snow whoa whoa, whoa. and I can fall down on my knees in the snow <laughs> okay let's see what else there is <laughs> Look! Yeah! This is my snow jacket. It's a coat, see? Coats keep you warm, and you should wear one when it's cold. All right. Whew. Whew. Yeah. I'm a lot warmer already. I'm so excited to play with the snowmobile toy once I'm all bundled up. Do you know what else I still need? So I got my coat, I got my pants, got my boots. What else do I need? <sighs> my ears are a little cold. Yeah, I need a hat. Come on. <laughs> oh, check this out. This is my blippy beanie. See, B-L-I. P-P-I, and look, that's me, Blippi. <laughs> All right, time to put on my Blippi beanie. 
Whoa! Look at me now! <laughs> my blippy beanie, my coat, my pants, my boots. <gasps> I'm so warm! But hold on, my neck's a little cold. Oh, let's see what else there is. Oh, yeah! This, this is a piece of really long orange material. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> this is a scarf. Watch what you do with this. You loop it once, and you put it on down in here. Whew. Zip this up. Zoop. <laughs> and now I'm all warm on my neck. Yep, my neck, my core, my leg, leg, legs, my feet, my feet, my feet. But what about my hands? Oh, burr. Oh, oh, burr. Yes! <laughs> Let's give it a round of applause. <laughs> okay, these are my gloves. And they're the color orange. I love the color orange and blue. Oh, my hands were really cold. But now, yeah, they're really warm. Okay, got one glove on. Now I need to get my second glove on. <laughs> and after we put on this glove, then we get to go play with the snowmobile again, the toy. Oh, my hands. Yeah! Whoa! 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 Look at all this snow! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's go get the snowmobile toy again. Okay, look at this. Come here. Wow, look at the snowmobile toy. Ooh. Ring, 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 ring. Whoa, ring, 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 Whoa. ring, 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 ring. See, snowmobiles, they have these front skis that just go on top of the snow. And then on the back, they have this track that pushes the snow along because it has so much traction. Ready? Let me build a quick jump for it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, are you ready, snowmobile, to go up this jump? Yeah, I am. All right, get ready. It's gonna do a flip this way. Three, two, one. Yeah! Let's do that again. Three, two, one. Whoa! Did you see that? Whoa! This snowmobile toy is so much fun. Watch this. Look at this place. It's so beautiful. It's like a winter wonderland. All this white snow and the green trees. And look at those trees way back there. 
They look so small from here. I can barely even see them. But look at over here. Wow. When they're closer up, trees, they're so big and tall. But when they're really far away, they look so small. That's funny, but they're actually the same size. Here, stay here, watch this. Look, I looked so big right next to you. But now, I look a lot smaller because I'm further away. Whoa, and look at how big these trees are. Come over here, they'll even look bigger to you. So when you were further away, you saw that I was a lot smaller. But now, I'm really tall! <laughs> and these trees are really tall now that we're really close to them. Whoa, those are some tall trees. And let's look at the small trees again. See, those are so small. All right. Trees are so much fun, but snowmobiles <laughs> are fun as well. All right, see you later. <laughs> hey, it's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. Wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky. And you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies. Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm, I wonder why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go find out why flies love garbage! Shrinking down! Hold your breath, Tabs! We're going in! I'm in the garbage truck! Welcome! I'm Horace the Fly! Looks like your first time here, hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippi. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> Whoopsies! Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush. <laughs> Sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, is that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good, though. Gotta dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha! Which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. 
That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Yes, sir, Bippy. For me, a garbage truck is a 24-7 all-I-can-eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, Horace. Thanks. Cheers, Blippi! Oh, hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Sheila! Hey, Sheila! <laughs> She's a farm dog! Whoa! And look at what I have! This is my lunch! I have a tasty apple, ooh, some strawberries, bananas, a sandwich with tomatoes on it, ooh, and even farm fresh eggs! Wow! Have you ever wondered how this food gets to your plate? <laughs> yeah! I have too! So today we are at Laughing Goat Flower Farm in Enumclaw, Washington! This is gonna be so much fun! Ooh, Sheila, look at these plants. Whoa, these are strawberries and blueberries. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a strawberry or a blueberry? Yeah, so tasty. Ooh, and look at these. Hmm, pretty interesting looking. <laughs> this plant, yeah, this is another fruit or a vegetable. Yeah. This one's a vegetable, and this vegetable is called garlic. I love garlic. It makes my food taste so good. So garlic is actually a bulb right down there, but it's not ready to be harvested yet. But up here, you can harvest the tops, and it's also tasty. I'll show you how to do that. So. I'm gonna take these really sharp scissors, so I'm gonna be very careful. And I'm gonna snip it right there. This is what it looks like. Whoa! One great thing about this farm is that all the food and the flowers are organically grown. <laughs> this is gonna be so tasty. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's count them. All right, we have one. Two, and three. Wow, three pieces of garlic top. Yum! <laughs> Ooh, these are called snap peas. Mmm, mmm. And they're so yummy. Hmm, I think you and I should plant some snap peas. Okay, so to plant some plants, some plants you need a shovel, where you dig a hole in a bed of soil, just like this, and put a seed right in the hole, fill up the hole, put some water on it, and then after a lot of sun, and some more water, and a lot of love, it'll grow into a tasty plant. <laughs> all right, but for snap peas, all you have to do is put one of these plants in a box <laughs> right on top of the soil and push it down to right about there. Perfect. And then you take another one and push it down. <laughs> Let's do a few more together. All right, this is really fun. Look at them. See? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. All right, four minus one <laughs> is three. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's put the rest of these down inside the soil. There we go. Okay, 
So we have a bunch of them right in a line right here. So let's move the rest of that and those. And let's take the water and let's give them some water. Wow. All right. And then in a while, these are gonna grow into really big plants. And then they'll grow these on them. And then you can eat them like this. Wait a second. I think there's some big ones over there. Come on. <laughs> All right. So those snap peas that we just planted in seed form after two months are going to grow to look like this. Look. <laughs> See, the plant has nodes, and then those nodes grow the snap peas off of them. Ooh, pull it off. And look, you have a lot of snap peas off this one plant. Hmm. 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 Have you ever tried a snap pea? <laughs> Maybe you should. They're really good. Woohoo! I sure do love tractors, huh, Sheila? <laughs> okay. All right. Time for some more food. Come check this out. Ooh, these are strawberry bushes. And look down here. These are strawberries. Really red strawberries. Let me pull it off. Yum! Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That was tasty. Whoa. I love strawberry bushes. Ooh, and here's some blueberries. But they're not quite ripe yet. See these? Yeah, they'll be blue when they're nice and ripe. And then you can eat them. <laughs> now we're in the chicken coop. Hey, chickens. <laughs> and look. These are some tasty treats for the chickens. They love to eat these tasty treats, so then they lay lots of eggs. I love eggs for breakfast, of course. All right, here you go, chickens. <laughs> Whee, here you go. Oh, yum. They love these tasty treats. Just like how I love fruits and vegetables, these chickens love this stuff. I don't know what it is, though. Here you go. All right. All right. There you go. From there, you can spread the rest around. There you go. And now, I'll pick one up so I can pet it. chicken and they love to be pet on their head see hey chicken want to see the chicken oh so cute their neck oh so relaxed so cute hey chicken chicken hey chicken chicken see oh it's okay it's okay girl see the chickens live in this coop they love to eat food, just like me and you. So then, they can lay their eggs. So then, you and I can eat them. They're so nice. <laughs> All right, here you go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> Time to pet another chicken. First, we got to catch one. So now, 
In this room, this is where the chickens lay their eggs. Come here. Whoa, see them down there? Yeah, they're laying eggs. And if you look right here, there's a couple eggs ready for us to grab. Look. Right down there. One egg. Two eggs. Yum. <laughs> hey, pigs. <laughs> Another fun thing about this farm is they have farm pets too. Just like these goats. Whoa! And there's some pigs back here. All right, hey, down. <laughs> All right, so let's give them some treats. All right, let's see, oops, sorry. Here's, oh, whoopsies. <laughs> okay, let's set some of this stuff down. I'm gonna set that down. All right. Who wants some banana? Oh, yum! <laughs> All right, would you like some banana? Oh, there you go. Ooh, you know the banana peel part that you and I don't like? They love it! Check it out! You want it? Yum! <laughs> Ooh. Would you like some banana? Yum! Enjoy! Ooh. Would you like some banana? Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, hey, this one hasn't got any. Hey, would you like a treat? Hey, oh, hey, would you like a treat? Oh, 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 hey, down, good down. There you go. Hey, pig, hey, pig, there you go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, all right. Would you like some banana? There you go. <laughs> all right. Woo! There's some peel for you. Hey, down. Good down. <laughs> all right, here you go. You two can share. <laughs> Sharing's really good. Oh, here's some more treats over here. Oh, look. <laughs> Animal crackers! All right, who wants some crackers? Whee! <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Here, see? It's an animal, but it's a cracker. Here you go. <laughs> hey, down. Put down. You see what I'm doing? I'm using this brush to give him a nice back scratch. There you go. <laughs> hey. Ooh, does that feel good? Yeah. Have you ever gotten a back massage or a back scratch? Yeah. This probably feels just like that. Right, pig? Whoa. The skin. Hey. Would you like to get brushed? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, does that feel good? It's kind of like a bath, but without water. And it doesn't clean you. It just feels really good. I like taking baths and showers, nice and clean, and rubbing a brush on my skin. Here you go. Let's get you right there. Come check out this pig's hair. Whoa, it's really coarse and really thick. Wow. It's really thick. Oh, hello. Hey, pig. There you go. Oh, yeah. Does that feel good? Oh, I bet. There you go. Yeah. See, I'm brushing this pig. This pig is really big. Whoa. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> hey, 
Does that feel good? Yeah, that feels real good. You like your horns brushed, huh? Yeah, here you go. You're a nice guy. Whoa. And do you see his eyes? Look. Look at his eyes. Come here. Do you see the black pupil? Yeah, that black part is called the pupil. And it's sideways. So then from there, the goat can see all around itself. Wow. <laughs> there you go, buddy. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye. What's in here? Wow, this is a growing room. <laughs> growing rooms are kind of like greenhouses. They keep a little bit more heat inside than outside. Right, Sheila? <laughs> All right, let's go explore. Ooh, look at what it is. It's a green hose. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, hey, look at what's on the end of the hose. Oh, it's a watering spigot. <laughs> what does it do? Whoa, it sprays water. Let's water the plants. There you go. There you go. Yeah, plants love to drink water, just like you and I do. All right, wow. This is so much fun growing plants because I love to eat the food afterwards. <laughs> Speaking of food, look way down there. Ooh, look, <laughs> it's a plum tomato. Ooh. It looks so tasty. Shall we eat it? <laughs> wow. Yum. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Ooh, another fun thing to do at Laughing Goat Flower Farm is to make a bouquet. Come on. Whoa, look in here. Some more plants. All right. So these plants you don't eat. Yeah. These plants you make a beautiful, beautiful bouquet with. All right. Here we go. Let's take our snips. All right, where to go? How about right oh, there? All right, okay, oh, that's real pretty. So, how you make a bouquet is you start with a base flower, like this. Well, actually, you start with a base plant and then you add the beautiful, colorful flowers. But this plant right here, yeah, it's fuzzy. And it kind of looks th like the color white, oh yeah. Normally, plants are the color green. <laughs> well, sometimes, really depends on the plant. But this one is pretty white looking. All right, let's cut some more, shall we? There we go. All right, perfect. And some more. Look at all of them. They're so beautiful. All right, what else do we need? We got a nice base. <gasps> we need some color. Let's go. Ooh, look at these colorful flowers. Yeah, they're the color yellow. These will look beautiful in the bouquet. All right, whoa, 
So interesting looking. Okay, let's put that right there. <laughs> All right, one will do. All righty, let's find some more flowers. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, another growing room. Ah, and more flowers. Perfect. Just what we're after. All right. Look at this one. Huh. All right. Let's pull it up. Ooh. It's kind of white. Yeah. It also has a little bit of green and a little bit of yellow. Yeah. And it makes that color. All right, let's put it right there. Yep, perfect. Oh, look. Wow. Take out our scissors. Gotta be careful. Okay. Ooh, that one's the color white. Put that right there. Oh, whoa. Look at this one. Yeah, this color is the color pink. Wow, so beautiful. <sighs> it smells so fresh. <laughs> All right, and one more over here. Whoa. Whoa, look at that color. Whoa, it's a really deep, deep, dark purple. Whoa, that will look beautiful in the bouquet. Let's put it right there. All right, let's go find some more flowers. <sighs> Some more beautiful flowers for a bouquet. All right, let's take our scissors. Be very careful. This one looks perfect. Actually, this one looks perfect. See the color? It's the color light pink. All right. Whoa, <laughs> it fell. All right. <laughs> Snippers back there. All right. Ah. So beautiful. All right. Put it right there. Whoa, look at it now. And it smells even more beautiful. <laughs> okay. Woo. Some more flowers. All right. This one looks ready. And this one is dark pink. Wow. All right. Let's take the scissors. Give it a snip. Give it a smell. Mmm. Ah, so fresh. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's put it right there. Whoa. That's a big flower. Whoa. It's so colorful. Oh, I see some more over there. <laughs> <laughs> more beautiful flowers for our bouquet. <laughs> All right, let's cut some flowers together. <laughs> All right. Ooh, see this flower? This flower is the color light blue. Wow, beautiful. All right, let's put it in here. All right, perfect. All right, let's cut some more. Here we go. All right, look, we have some more to place in here. Uh, how about one right there? How about one? Right here. <laughs> okay. <Whew. laughs> and we have two more. One, two. Let's put one right here. 
right there. Perfect. And let's put the last one right next to this big one. <laughs> All right. There we go. Perfect. So beautiful. Oh, look. More blue flowers. All right. Let me snip some of these. Huh. These are the color blue as well. But remember the last flowers? They were light blue. But these flowers are dark blue. <laughs> Let's put them in the bouquet. All right. Here we go. About one right there. About one over here. About one. Let's see. Right. There looks beautiful. And one. Right there. Whoa! What a beautiful bouquet! Let's go get some more flowers. Ooh, some more flowers. Ooh, interesting. See this flower? It's not fully blossomed yet. Huh, yeah. Oh, there's different stages of blossoming flowers. Look down here. See, this one hasn't even opened yet. It's still a baby. Ooh, you see this? It's trying to peek out. <laughs> it's like, hello, I see you. <laughs> But then it opens a little bit up, a little bit more. See? And then goes to a little bit more. Yeah. And then goes even more. Wow. And then after that goes, Ooh, I'm beautiful. I'm a flower. <laughs> and speaking of that, there's some down here. Let's go. Whoa, look at these. Oh, let's cut one. Whoa, this is a new color. Do you see it? Yeah, this color is the color red. All right, let's add it to the bouquet. Let's put this one right in the very, very center. Whoa, look at that. It is so beautiful. I know what I'm gonna do with these flowers. I'm gonna surprise my mom. Shh, if you cut flowers, you can do the same. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. Bye bye Love you, mom. Mmm, 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 salad. Oh, thanks, Tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? <coughs> Great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in a mouth. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth. Shrinking down! We're inside a mouth. You're right, Tabs. We need a way to clean these teeth. Would a brush help? Hi, I'm Bill Brushy. And you are? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth. Well, you're asking the right brush. Hop on, and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth. All right. Hey, Bill Brushy, is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir. It helps keep teeth healthy and food free. Okay, now here's how to brush your teeth. Let's go to the front first. 
So, small circles on every two. Whoa! Okay, that's the front done. Let's go to the back now. We turned, we flipped. Little circles round and round. All right. Let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the chew crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs. Toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow! I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling teeth. We will. Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye-bye. bucket trucks. And in this video, we are going to learn about... Yeah! Bucket trucks! Woohoo! Woo! Okay, now I'll show you the parts of the bucket truck. Come on! Woo! Look at this! A compartment! Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Like a tape measure, and ooh, a flathead screwdriver. <laughs> so many other cool things in there. Ooh, another compartment. Whoa, giant snippers. Snip, snip, snip. And, whoa, look at this. Really heavy mallet. <laughs> That's heavy. Okay, shut that. Woo! Look! A fire extinguisher. Just in case if there's a fire anywhere. <laughs> Ooh, and some road cones up here. Oh, look down here. Whoa! This is a stabilizer leg. They go down and stabilize the truck while the operator is really high in the sky in the bucket. <laughs> Okay, let me show you up here. Wow, look at this. This is a go light and it moves, see? <laughs> okay, check this out. It's like a spotlight, watch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's a disco light. Look up here. These are the lower controls that operate the boom in the bucket from down below right here. Ooh. And spray paint? Wow, I bet that's useful. And whoa, look at these giant bolts. Wow, that's huge. And then we have some more cones and some folded up road signs. There's a lot of them in here. And come back here. Wow. See, this is the bucket. That's where you stand and then you go really high in the sky. That is so cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Come here. I'll show you inside the bucket van. Come on. Wow, there's other cool things in here. Like, huh, another screwdriver. <laughs> okay, here, take a peek. Wow! Whoa, look! I set out some stuff that was inside the bucket van. Okay, we have a pedestrian headlight. It says stop and go, and it counts down right there. Ooh, a socket wrench. <laughs> and a small adjustable wrench. A medium adjustable wrench. And a giant adjustable wrench! <laughs> this 
is called a crow's foot. Wow, it's used for odd shaped nuts and bolts like that. <laughs> Whoa, isn't that cool? Hmm, look over here. We have a red light, a yellow light, and a green light. Whoa, and speaking of green lights, look, this is the green light button tester. Just like when emergency vehicles, like police cars and fire trucks, when they need to get somewhere really quick, they have a button inside that shoots a light, whoa, into this thing, ah, it's really bright. And then that turns the lights green. Whoa, okay, ooh, another road cone. <laughs> oh, a road sign. And speaking of safety, we have our safety equipment, like my bright orange vest. Whoa. See? So orange. And then, whoa, look at this. This is a harness. This is used. So then you wear it while you're up in the bucket. So then if anything ever happens, you're strapped into the bucket. So strap this right here, okay, and then oh, one around your belly, perfect, and then two down here, <laughs> got it nice and tight, and another down here, wow, now I feel really safe, but still, oh, jeez. This is kind of heavy, but I gotta put on my gloves. Bright orange gloves. One, two, and last but not least, my hard hat. Whoa! <laughs> Here we come. Going really high in the air. You guys see the traffic signal lights? We're just gonna do some maintenance and make sure that they work. Okay, it looks like the lights are in perfect working order. Now, we're gonna head on over here the black thing over there and that is a sensor and it senses the magic green light button now that we're at this little black sensor we just need to clean it and then we need to test it and this is used for when emergency vehicles push their magic green button to flash lights and then it'll turn green watch here looking at this street light. It's an LED street light. And it wasn't working, but we fixed the wiring. Fixing the lights up in the sky, there's a handyman. Way up high on that neon sign, high above the land. And everybody wants to know, how did he get way up there? simple look over there it's a bucket truck that takes him up and up going high above in a bucket truck it's a truck with an arm and a platform attached it can raise and lower you just like that
It's a truck with an arm and a platform attached It can raise and lower you just like that Going up, 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 up in a bucket truck thanks to the companies and people that made this video possible. If you want me to do a video with your company, shoot me an email. Bye bye Woo. Wow, that bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too. They're all so busy. <laughs> well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down! You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi, I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be. <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijon, are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. <laughs> Got to chew. That's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha! Ha ha! I rhymed again! <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. Ah, the nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Honey, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa! Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer, Tabs. Bye, Bijan! Thanks for being you! <laughs> <laughs> Look at what I got! A garbage truck toy! <gasps> a real garbage truck! Are you ready to learn about garbage trucks and recycling today? Yeah! Let's go!
Now, let's learn some of the parts of the garbage truck. Come on. First things first, the cab. Woo! Look at who it is. It's Tony. Hey, Tony. Hi, kid. Hi. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> that, the cab, is where the garbage truck driver sits and steers the garbage truck. Whoa! <laughs> it's so high, though. How do they get up there? <gasps> Let me show you. Come on. These are the steps. <laughs> That's so fun. I love garbage trucks. Whoa! Look at right here. You know what this is. It's a fire extinguisher. Just in case if there's any fire near or on the garbage truck. Garbage trucks are really safe. You'll soon learn that. Because <laughs> let me teach you. Here's some more safety features of the garbage truck. Look. Do you know what these are? They're tire chains, just in case if the road gets really icy and slippery, you wrap them around the tires so then the garbage truck can drive straight and not slip and slide. <laughs> oh, look, reflective tape. This is for light to hit and bounce off and make the truck really bright at night. Garbage trucks are so safe. Oh, Look, a spill kit, another safety feature. This yellow bag contains absorbent pads just in case if there's any ewy and icky things on the ground that you can't scoop or broom up into the garbage truck. So you use the spill kit. Oh, come back here. I have something really cool to show you. Oh, whoa. Hurry, come here. Look. <laughs> Airbags! Watch this! Whoa! Did you see that? The garbage truck just lowered because of those airbags. And you use those airbags right before you dump. Oh, and look! This is how you dump the recycled goods out of the garbage truck. This opens up because these hydraulic cylinders push the back door really open and then it dumps all the compressed goods out of it. But first, we need some stuff in it. How do you get it in there? <laughs> the coolest part, let me show you. Come on. Hurry, come here. <laughs> Watch this. This is the grabber arm. It goes, uh, 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 uh. it's like a claw. It grabs the can, pulls it in, brings it up, and dumps it into the hopper. Oh, look, the hopper up there. And then it gets pushed into the compression body right here, and it gets compressed really tight, and then it gets dumped, dumped out the back, like I said. Wow, I love garbage trucks. parts of a garbage truck and how it works, let's learn about the differences between garbage and recycling. Garbage, you only can use once and then you throw it away. Stuff like kitty litter, bubble gum, or even like a dirty diaper. P.U. <laughs> yeah. You only use that stuff once and then you throw it away. But recycling, you can use it many times because it might get melted down or just processed back into the original product or something similar made out of the same material. And if it can, it's recyclable. Let me show you some of the things that I brought from home to recycle today. Oh look, 
A milk jug. That's plastic. You can recycle plastic. And then a tin can. Oh. An aluminum can. Ooh. Plastic bags. Oh. A spray bottle. That's plastic. Ooh, a glass bottle. <laughs> and even a cardboard box. All those things you can recycle. Now that we know the difference between garbage and recyclable goods, let's visit a recycling facility and sort out some recyclable goods. We're at the recycling facility. First, we need our safety equipment on before we go inside. Okay? Wall, bright vest, bright hard hat, and safety glasses, and suspenders. We have all the recyclable materials out of the truck. Now we get to sort it. This is gonna be fun. All the recycled materials come up the conveyor belt and then they need to be sorted because there's so many different kinds like paper, plastic, cardboard, aluminum, tin. There's so many. Here, let's go sort some. All of the recyclable goods travel down these conveyor belts. Workers sort them out by the different types of materials. And once it gets sorted out to one type of material, like this cardboard, it then gets crushed and compact into this tight log of one material. Then a forklift comes up, picks it up, and transports it to a different part of the warehouse. And when the material is ready to be transported onto the back of a semi to go somewhere else to be recycled, a forklift loads it into the back of a semi. That was so much fun seeing inside a real recycling facility. Now, let me turn up those tunes so we can dance to and sing my garbage truck song. Garbage trucks, garbage trucks, driving through the town, picking cans up off the ground. Garbage trucks, sometimes when I wake up early in the morning, I Sound. I look out the window and there's a garbage truck Picking cans up off the ground It empties the can and puts it back down Then drives away so loud Garbage trucks Garbage trucks Driving through the town Picking cans up off the ground Garbage trucks The garbage man drives up in the garbage truck Then picks that garbage up He dumps it in the back so that it can be crushed Then he drives off to the dump Backs up to a pile of all the trash from the town And dumps the whole thing out Garbage trucks Garbage trucks Driving through the town Picking cans up off the ground Garbage trucks Some are brown and some are green 
Don't you know it? There are some that can pick up recycling yeah. Garbage trucks Garbage trucks Driving through the town Picking cans up off the ground Garbage trucks Garbage trucks Garbage trucks Driving through the town Picking cans up off the ground Garbage trucks Jeez Louise, this video had a lot of great information. Today we learned about garbage trucks, recycling trucks, and recycling. If you liked this video and you want to watch more of my videos, all you gotta do is search for my name. Do you know my name? Yeah, it's Blippi. Let's spell it together. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, that's my name. Good job. All right, see you soon. Bye. I love being at the beach. Whoa, a flying fish. Hmm, I wonder, what's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, it's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friends. And, well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right, thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp. Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. Yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here. Wherever we are. Jerry! Jerry? Blippi, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on. <sighs> Whoa! I scared a gray whale? And she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus and a shark and a sea turtle and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter and a seahorse and a lobster and a stingray. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And today we're at Kids Space Children's Museum in Los Angeles, California. Come on. Look over here, a bunch of blue blocks, come on. Whoa, these are big blue blocks. See, the color blue. Whoa, 
Whoa! <laughs> oh, I think we can build some things with them. Okay, let's take this and let's put it in this rectangle, see? Put it in the hole of the rectangle. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh. And a big cylinder. Let's put it in this hole right there. Looks like it'll fit perfect. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! <laughs> okay, come on, come over here. Look at this! See the bottle right there? It's gonna fill up with water and air and it'll create a lot of pressure. Look! Okay, get ready! Whoa! Did you see that? <laughs> that was awesome! Come on! big circles, okay? And then there's some metal pieces. Let's put them on the outside, okay? And this one, they're on the inside. And let's check the speed of them. Ready? Three, two, one! Whoa! 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 <laughs> This one almost won. It would have won if I let go of them at the same time. Let's see what else there is. Come on. Ooh, what's this? Wow. Looks like you put these colorful balls in the tubes and then yeah. they go down the track. Okay. Oh. Look over here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'll do it again. Ready? Oh, here we go. Ready? <laughs> that was awesome. There's a big one over here. Come on. I need to find a ball. have four balls. Two green ones, a purple one. I can put this one here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? How about come on this side so you can see it? Okay, here we go. Go! <laughs> that was awesome, come on. Looks like you. Oh, hey, put this right here. Sure. There you go. Okay, I need to go find a ball. Um. Okay, I got some balls. Let's put them in this. Okay. Fire in the hole. Whoa! Whoa! I'm launching the balls and they're going through the circle targets. Whoa! Let's go see what else they have here. Hey, I'll come down. Whoa, <laughs> Ooh, 
I have another room to show you. Come here. Ooh, there's so many cool things in this room. Look at this giant rock. It has holes in it. Whoa, it's really heavy. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Check it out. Wow, look at all of these rocks. They're all different kinds. See? Ooh. Okay, let's see. Ooh. This rock is called a slate rock. Look. <laughs> That's really cool. It's the color black. Um, let's see what else. Ooh, some fossils. Whoa. I don't know what kind of fossil that is, but that's really neat. Okay. Let's see what else there is. Oh, look at this. Wow. It looks like a snake. But let me tell you something. This isn't a snake. This is a legless lizard. Yeah, it's a lizard with no legs. <laughs> that is so unique and cool. Wow. Bye-bye. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, see you later. <laughs> wow. Let's see what else there is. Oh, hey. Look. Ooh, some paw prints and hoof prints of some animals like this. This is a deer. This is a bear and a raccoon. <laughs> they love to steal my lunch. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? A mountain lion. <laughs> okay, what else is around here? Ooh. Wow, bunch of insects. Look, do you see this? It's a butterfly. Wow. Ooh, a beetle. Wow. <laughs> hey, beetle. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. What else is there? Whoa, look at those big wings. That's a massive insect. Whoa. <laughs> There's some animals in here. Yay! <laughs> we'll let them sleep. Oh, hey! Check it out. Whoa, do you see that? There's a turtle in there. Hey, turtle. <laughs> what are these? Oh, my! Dinosaurs! I love dinosaurs! Like the Triceratops, Ooh, the Stegosaurus. Ooh, and the T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hey, speaking of dinosaurs, over there, I saw a place where we can dig up some fossils. You wanna go? Okay, come on. Wow, look at this vehicle. It has some big wheels and tires, so it doesn't get stuck when you go dig up some fossils. Well, come back here. Oh wait, <laughs> not yet. I need to drive it. Whoa! Whoa! Beep, 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 beep! <laughs> okay, we arrived at the place where all the fossils are. Huh. I already got one earlier in the day. Check it out! Wow! That's a massive, massive fossil. Oh, and here's some more. See? Wow! Look at that! Whoa, check out this one. Ooh. Whoa, wait a second. Looks like a bunch of dirt. But see how it's in a mound? I wonder if there's a fossil under there. A dinosaur fossil. Whoa, do you see it? Whoa. 
see this? This is a dinosaur claw. Or maybe it's a tooth. I don't know what it is, but it's a really cool dinosaur fossil. Do you see that? There's kids riding tricycles. That looks like so much fun. Look. <laughs> Let's go ride together. Come on. What I have, a bag full of rubber duckies. Rubber duckies float, so if I put them right here, they'll go all the way down to the bottom. Watch. Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah! <laughs> Look at all the rubber duckies down here. They made it to the bottom from the very tip top. Woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> I'm just making music with these. See? Those little balls at the end? Whoa! And these, these are pieces of wood. Check it out. instruments are here. Ooh, look at these. These are giant metal pipes and you smash them together. Check it out. Listen. Okay, there's some more over here. Ooh. Oh, another mallet type of thing. But then you hit on this big round circle metal thing. I don't know what kind of instrument this is, but listen. <laughs> oh. Make such great music. <laughs> Woo. Ooh. Rainforest sticks. Sounds like you're in the rainforest. Here's another one. <laughs> Woo. 
Ouro. <laughs> yeah! Ooh, what's over here? Follow me. Wow, this is a path above the ground. Whoa. We're really high in the air right now. Ooh, check this out. Whoa. <laughs> We're gonna have to go over here. So as you can see, we are really high in the air. See? Oh, hello! <laughs> okay, this is called the hawk's nest. Because you're so high in the air, you feel like a hawk! Oh, and speaking of hawks, there are some feather costumes over here. Hawks are birds that fly really high in the air and they search for food like this. <laughs> they have really good eyesight. Will you act like a hawk with me? Are you ready? area is the mud and clay area. You can get your hands really dirty and play in the mud. Look! <laughs> scoop, scoop, scoop! Wee! <laughs> Ooh! Look at this! It's a spoon with holes in it. Wow! Okay, let's dish up. Put some right there. Put some right there. See that? Okay. Then come back over here. Oh, okay, we got some mud right here. Yum! <laughs> and then let's take this spatula. Huh, that one's kind of curved. <laughs> let's take this one. Let's scoop some out and put it in the muffin tin. See? Six circles. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> put some in that one. Put some in that one. All right, right there. And then let's scrape some more off. Put it right there. Ooh, look at this. Yeah. Okay, there we go. It looks like some tasty dinner. Yum. All right. Okay, let's put it back on this table over here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Watch this. Put it on this wall. Ready? Actually, no. I'll put it right here. How about that? <laughs> Ready? Oh! One, two, three, four, five. Only five came out. <laughs> the sixth one's right there. All right. <laughs> There's the sixth one. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Ooh, look over here at this tub area. Whoa, there's a lot of mud in here. <laughs> if you like to get dirty, this is a fun place. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the circle. <laughs> Put it in the circle. Okay. Now watch, I'll poke it from the other side. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right. Well, that was so fun playing at this children's museum. I guess it's time to go clean up. All right. Bye bye. I see the moon, stars, and is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa, 
There's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder, what planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Now it's time to get planet size. Growing up! <laughs> right, Taps, we're in space. Whoa, it's a meteor. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Welcome to outer space. I marry the meteor. I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa that is hot. We should go. The third planet is your home, Earth. Hi, Mom. Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust. Come on. Next up is the giant Jupiter, bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa, we should go. We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings. Whoa, they look beautiful. Can we get closer? Of course. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, wee. Wait, we haven't finished yet. On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune! Neptune? Whoa! I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune! Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the Meteor. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing awesome. Oh, what's behind me? This right here? Yeah, this machine is a wheel loader. And today, you and I are gonna learn about wheel loaders. this wheel loader, we need some safety equipment. The first thing I need is a hard hat. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Pretty please? Oh, thank you. All right, got my hard hat on. Now I need a safety vest. Ooh. A bright orange safety vest. When you have the, you can go now. When you have a bright orange safety vest on, it makes it so machines and their operators can see you. All right, here we go. Now 
let's learn the parts of the wheel loader. Come on. Whoa, look at this. This is the bucket of the wheel loader. And it is a really big bucket. Let's check out the inside of it. Wow, it's so big in here. It's pretty roomy. Maybe I could lay down and take a nap. Oh, wait a second. No time for napping, because you and I need to learn the parts of a wheel loader. Ooh, like this. This is the loader frame, and it holds the bucket and look up there, that's what powers everything. That is a really big hydraulic cylinder. Whoa! Whoa, look at this. This is a big wheel and a big tire. And you see this on the tire? Yeah, this is called tread. And what it does is make sure when you're driving on mud, you don't slip and slide. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, come on. Whoa. See up there? That's the cab. That's where the operator of the wheel loader sits. Check this out. I'm going to go up there. Hello! Hi! I'm so high up here! And you're so low down there! <laughs> Alright, I'll come down now. Wow! Wonder what else there is on this wheel loader. Hey, like this! This is where the engine of the wheel loader is. Let's open it up. can't find how to open up the engine compartment. Well, Blippi, I'm glad you've asked. Oh, the switch is right here. Now that's what I call ground line serviceability. <laughs> okay, now let's check the oil. All right. Okay. Whoa, that's a really big dipstick. Whoa, huh, and it looks like the oil is perfect. So let's put the dipstick back. And now that it's back, we can take it for a spin. Let's head to the top of the wheel loader so we can operate it. But I need to tell you about the rule of three points of contact. That means since we have four limbs, one, two, three, four, we need to have three of these touching the machine at all times. All right, here we go. inside the wheel loader now. Wow, we're so high up. It's a great view up here. 
Wow. Oh, okay. Let me show you the parts inside the wheel loader. But first, what we have to do is put on our seat belt. Okay. Good job. All right. So this right here is the steering wheel and steering column. It even can go down and up. Whoa. Whoa. However you like it. Ooh, and look at this. This is the gear shifter. This determines what gear you're in, how fast you're going to go. And this, this kind of looks like a joystick. Yeah, but this operates the front bucket. If you pull it back, it all raises. If you push it forward, it lowers. If you go left and right, it tilts up and down, so then you can scoop, scoop, scoop. <laughs> all right, here I go. fun learning about wheel loaders with you. Come on everyone, let's make learning fun. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout. Blippi! Blippi! Holy smokes! A volcano! That's right, Devo! When a volcano erupts, smoke and hot lava come out the top of it. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a volcano erupt? Great idea! We'll go inside a volcano and find out. I'm gonna need wings, spider legs, and the heat shield. Wings, spider legs, heat shield, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> is ready for adventure. Let's go through the side vent into the volcano. Whoa, whoa! Oh, it sure is hot in here. Whoa! Hey there, I'm Maggie the Magma Monster. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We want to learn what makes a volcano erupt. You're in for a real treat, Blippi and Debo. Speaking of treats... <laughs> Below us, deep in the Earth, the planet's heat is melting rocks into liquid, also known as magma, like me. <laughs> You're right, Debo. It is like one of our favorite games. The floor is lava! Whoa! Magma becomes lava after it erupts out of the volcano. Whoa. So I guess I'm the floor. <laughs> Whoa! We're getting higher. That's because the more rocks melt below, the more magma rises here in the chamber. Hey, I wonder where this goes. Look out, Blippi! Magma! Phew, that was close. Maggie, you almost fill the whole cavern now. I sure do. And as I grow, the pressure inside the volcano builds until we push through the crust or the top of the earth. Hold on! Whee! Ah, much better. Maggie, what a blast! And I got the answer to my question. What makes a volcano erupt? A volcano erupts when the hot magma inside it builds pressure and bursts through the surface of the Earth! Upload answer, Debo! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, Blippi! Hope you loved it! <laughs> <laughs> we did! Bye bye Maggie! Woo! Look at the cherries! They look so yummy! I love cherries, and cherries grow in clusters like these. Let's pull off a cluster and count how many cherries are in the cluster. Whoa! Okay, one cherry, two cherries, 
and three cherries. Okay, first thing you need to do is pull the cherries off of the tree. And then you put it in the bucket right here. And when the bucket is really full, like this, then we go to the bin oh, and pour out the cherries. Oh, whoa, there we go. Look at all those cherries. Look at all of these cherries. Now that the bins are full of cherries to the tippy tippy top, now it's time for the tractor to load up the bins. Yum! These cherries look so tasty. And these cherries are the color red. for the truck to take it to the packing facility.
bins are full and in the factory, it's time to dump them in the water so they can get sorted and packed. Watch! are nice and clean so then they can go down the conveyor belt so then they'll be nice and ready for you to eat. into three sizes of cherries. The first size is a small cherry. Ooh. The next size is a medium cherry. Ooh. And the last size is a big cherry. I'm 
Mamalas are sour too If it's not too cold and not too hot I can grow all over this world we're on I just start out as a tiny seed Put me in the ground till I'm blossoming In three to four years I'll become a tree And in the summertime you get a taste of me Cherry, cherry, cherry song Everybody now Cherry, cherry, cherry song Sing along A hot fudge sundae I'm on top I'm the best flavor of a lollipop I'm a warm and gooey and tasty treat When I'm baked in pies for you to eat I go so well so many things From syrup to juice to the smoothie you drink And I bet you like Coke even better with me Cherry, cherry, cherry song Everybody now Cherry, cherry, cherry song Sing along Yo man, Cherry out I gots to go ripen Woohoo! Today we're at the Las Vegas Mini Grand Prix oh, And look at these These are go-karts And this is a green go-kart. This is a red go-kart. And this is a blue go-kart. I am so excited! They're my two favorite colors. This go-kart is the color orange. And this go-kart, yeah, is the color blue. Now it's time for me to teach you the parts of a go-kart. Oh, hey, and look at this. Yeah, it's a go-kart. So the first thing on go-karts are all of them have four wheels and tires. See right here? This is a wheel and tire, and it's really small. <laughs> so cute. So this is the first wheel and tire. This is the second wheel and tire. This right here is the third wheel and tire. Ooh. And this is the last wheel and tire. It's the fourth wheel and tire. Whoa. Ooh, and look at this. Yeah. This, that's the bumper guard. It's there to keep you safe. So then you don't run and drive into things like this. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Ooh, whoa, look at this back here. This, yeah, this is the spoiler. They put spoilers on go-karts and super fast cars because it creates some downforce and it adds about three million horsepower to the vehicle. Wow, that's fast. <laughs> Ooh, and look down here. This is the engine of the go-kart. It has an air filter, spark plug, muffler, oil, and so many other things. Well, how the engine gets all of its power is it needs some fuel. Just like how you and I need food, the go-kart needs food too. And right here, uh, uh, yeah, right here is the gas tank. Whoa, I think you and I should fill it up and put in some gas in the go-kart. Let's put our safety glove on. Here we go. Wow. All right. Put the spout right here. Turn it up. Ooh. Whoa. All right. 
I think it's nice and full now. So let's put the cap back on. Oh yeah, nice and tight. Then we turn on the on switch right there. Then all you have to do is pull the string. Three, two, one. A little harder this time. Even a little harder this time. Yeah, good job. the go-kart. This is where the driver, yeah, me, you, this is where we get to sit today. So, let's take a seat. Whoa, yeah, I kind of like this. Okay, but first things first, when operating a go-kart, yeah, safety first. Let's put on our seatbelt. Just like we're in a vehicle, any vehicle, you should wear a seatbelt. So much fun! The cool thing about go-karts are there's so many different kinds, like the one we just rode, and then also these ones. Come look! <laughs> look at this! This go-kart is so small! <laughs> That's funny! Ooh! There's one up here for you and I to ride. Whoa, yeah! This green cart looks like a dandy. Alright. We need to turn it on. So, you remember, you put on your glove, and then give it a pull. Yeah! Whoa! The cool thing about these small go-karts are anyone that's 38 inches or above can ride. Woo! Whoa! And trust me, I'm above 38 inches. <laughs> so first things first, yeah! Safety first. Gotta put on your seatbelt. Oh, 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 nice and tight. All right, now the gas pedal. Here we go. Whoa! Go-kart. 
Yeah, it's so powerful. It's so powerful, it was even imported from the country of France. Ooh, and check that out down there. Yeah! This go-kart has LED headlights and go to the back. And it even has tail lights. Do you see them? And when you push on the brake, yeah, it even has working brake lights. Whoa, this go-kart is so powerful, you need to be 16 years old and have a valid driver's license. <laughs> Lucky for me, I'm both. Yeah. So that means we can start it up. So let's flip on the switch and give it a pull. Whoa! This sounds like it has so much power too. So let's take a seat in the seat and let's put on our seat belt because it has so much power. Whoa, I'm a little nervous, but it's gonna be so much fun. All right, are you ready? Here I go. with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Yeah, Blippi. Let's spell it together. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. All right. Phew, it's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder. Why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge snorkeling. Sherry, are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. 
I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the blippy mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right, which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because popsicles will melt if they get <laughs> too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye-bye. Today we are at the LBA Park in Olympia, Washington. Woo, look at this. Whoa, this is the color blue. Ooh, and that is yellow and black. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> come on. Whoa. Look at this. This is the color red and a black stick. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, let me spin again. Ready? Whoa! 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 I'm really dizzy. Hey, speaking of spinning, whoa! Look at this! Wow, what is this? Looks kind of like a pyramid. Whoa! Whoa! This is the color yellow. Yeah, the ropes are yellow. And the base is the color blue. Watch, I'll spin it really fast. Okay, now I'll hop on. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. at this. Wow. Jeez. I don't know what even to call this. Whoa. But I know what to do on it. You can climb on it. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Really high in the air. Whoa. Whoa. Look. There's a little area down here. Look at these giant ropes. And then the small ropes right here. Wow, it's like I'm a monkey. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> and swings, come on. You know what a swing is, right? Whoa. Whoa! Watch out! Whoa! Here I go! On the count of three, I'll launch off. One, two, here I go! Three! Whoa! Okay. One, two, three! Whoa! Whoa! One, two, Three! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, what's this? Come over here! Whoa! Okay, this looks like it's a, called a zip line. See, this is black, and you sit on it, and there's a really thick cable up top that then you can zip line down. Are you ready? Here we go. Get ready, go! Come on! Yeah! Whoa! 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 Whoa. That was so fun! Okay, we'll do it one more time. Okay. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Start going, because I go fast. Okay. Whoa. 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 
learning about colors with you. All right, bye-bye. Wow, I love our cool Flippy Mobile. You're right, Debo. Our car does have amazing things. Hmm, I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea! We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. We just traveled back over 100 years. I wonder whose house this is. It's mine. My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am. Come here, future Blippi great grandson. <laughs> We're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seatbelts? Okay, let's go. To the top of that hill. <laughs> we made it. Knew we would. Now down. Does the car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was really cool! <laughs> Hot dog! And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it, cars only had two seats, and you pulled a hand lever for the brakes! Upload answer, Debo! <laughs> Bye, Great Grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. Hey! Look at what it is. Yeah, it's a lawnmower. In this video, we are going to do some fun yard work together. Let's go! First, before getting on or operating a riding lawnmower, you must first wear ear protection. Yeah. And eye protection. Backward. Forward. Right. 
riding lawnmower. Look at what we have here. This is a push lawnmower. But before we start this push lawnmower, we need to check two things. The first thing is gas. Let's check the gas. And the second thing is oil. We got to check the gas and the oil before we start this push lawnmower. All right. First things first, let's check the gas. And right here is where you check the gas. You unscrew this. Okay, then you look down inside. Yeah, we need gas. Okay, let's put the cap right there. And then let's take our gas can full of gas and be very careful. You might need to ask a parent to do this because this can be dangerous. Okay, there we go. The gas, yep, it's full now. Let's put the gas cap back on. <laughs> it's nice and tight. Okay, now we need to check the oil. Yeah, right here. Unscrew this one. Okay. Yep, the oil is really low. Okay, we need to open up the oil container. And you need to, okay, there we go. Now let's pour some oil in right here. There we go. Check it again. Oh, yep, that's a perfect amount of oil. Okay, tighten this up, and now we're ready to go. Okay, we are ready to mow the lawn. should we do? Oh, I have an idea. A leaf blower. Yeah, this is going to blow away all the leaves. Watch this.
what we got here. This right here, yeah, those are weeds. And I have the perfect yard tool for weeds. It's called the Weed Eater. Yeah, this spins around really quick and chops up all of the weeds. But first, apart from the ear protection, the eye protection, we also need hand protection for weed eating. So let's put on our gloves, and then let's get to weed eating. It was fun doing yard work with you. If you want to watch more of my videos, you know what to do. Just search for my name, Blippi. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, good job. Bye. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? Good idea. We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Debo? You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck. All right, let's ride. Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure. Crash, crash. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi, I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great! You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall! Wow! Let's do this! All right! <laughs> We can't bounce as high as you, Megan. And oh boy, we're almost tipping over. Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race and have competitions. Cool! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow! This is awesome! How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering, so I can turn all four oh. wheels at once, instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. <laughs> Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed! I nailed that! Megan, that 
That was amazing! And I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> <laughs> I was just acting like a horse because in this video, it's all about horses. We're gonna have so much fun. First, let's listen to a little bit of the horse song, but then Georgia and Taylor, two little girls that ride ponies, they're gonna teach you about horses and ponies. Let's go! Blippi! Horses like to eat lots of hay and grass It makes them big and strong They have beautiful manes and poofy tails With hair so nice and long Horses can run faster than you or me They're like a speeding train But oh, they can pack a powerful just with their hind legs So be sure not to stand behind them If you get the chance to be near one Maybe just bring an apple That's their favorite snack! <laughs> Horses galloping through the countryside I wish that I had one to ride Horses This is my pony, his name is Flash. My pony's name is Dot. Before you put on the saddle, you have to burst the pony. This is a pony's horseshoe, and this is a horse's horse's shoe. The saddle pad protects the pony from the saddle. This is a horse pick and it picks horses hoes.
you love learning about horses and ponies with Taylor and Georgia? Yeah, I did too. And they really know how to ride those ponies really good and maintain good safety. That's so important. They're so cool. Well, let's not stop here. Let's continue to learn about horses and have fun. This is a horse. <laughs> Did you know horses can sleep standing up and laying down? Go! Whoa, whoa! Estimates suggest that there are about 60 million horses on this planet. <laughs> That's a lot of horses! Horses are herbivores. That means they eat plants. Um, 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 yummy. Let's draw a horse. First, let's draw the body, and the back leg, and the front leg. And there's the head. Hmm, the little ear. Two ears. And the eyeball, the nose, and the mane. The horse's mane. Can't forget about that back tail and the other back leg other front leg. Now it's really looking like a horse. Now let's give it some detail. Like the hooves. Let's write the word. You know what it is. Horse. It's amazing how big dinosaurs were. You're right, Debo. There were bigger dinosaurs than the T-Rex. Hmm, I wonder, what was the biggest dinosaur? Good idea, Debo. We can go back in time and find the biggest dinosaur. I'm gonna need wings and extendo legs. Wings, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Okay, where is the biggest dinosaur? Whoa! The rock is moving! Oh! We aren't sitting on a rock, we're on a very big dinosaur's back! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! Hi, Blippi and Debo! I'm Angie! The Argentinosaurus! Whoa! That is a big name for a big dino! I have to break it up to say it right! Ar-gen-teen-o-sor-us! That's me! So, I'm on my way to meet a friend! Oh! Oh! Do you want to come along? Thanks for inviting us! Do you want to race? I bet you can run super fast! Actually, I walk slowly! 
That's part of being so big. Plus, I need to snack to keep up my energy. I eat hundreds of pounds of plants every day. You want to get a selfie of you and all of Angie? Good luck, Debo. Whoa, you're really long. I'm about 130 feet long and 40 feet tall. That's as long as three school buses. And a little taller than a telephone pole. Yum. The hill we go! I be your bridge! Whoa. <laughs> it tickles! <laughs> yeah! This is where I meet my friend. <laughs> hey! Good shot, Devo! We're both in it! <laughs> oh, and look! So is my friend! Sorry I'm late! Hey! This is my good friend, Nina! Nina, this is Bleepy and Debo. <laughs> They're looking for the biggest dinosaur. That's an easy one. You're the biggest dinosaur around, Angie. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> so cool. And I have the answer to my question. What was the biggest dinosaur? One of the biggest dinosaurs was the Argentinosaurus. It was 130 feet long and ate plants and leaves all day. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Angie and Nina. Bye, Blippi! Bye, Blippi! <laughs> okay! Look, we got excavator! Yeah! <laughs> yep, excavator! And we got dump truck! We need to go find the snowmobile that got caught up in an avalanche of all this snow! Whoa! Okay! <laughs> Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck! Oh no! Dump truck's stuck! Okay, I'll help him. Good job, excavator! Keep it up! Okay. Yeah, we did it! Whoa! Look at this big hill we gotta get over! Rev up your engines, boys and girls! That's a really big hill! Okay, let's try this again! Yeah! We made it! Woo! Okay, let's see what's under here. Vim, vim, vim. <sighs> Snowmobile, where are you? Snowmobile! Oh. Snowmobile's not here. Hmm. Snowmobile, yeah, where are you? Oh. They said they're a little bit further this way. All right, boys and girls. Let's go! Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Must be around here. This is where we got the avalanche control call. So, dump truck back up to the job site. Okay. I'm in position. Okay. Okay, excavator. Your job is to dig and put snow in the back of dump truck. Okay. All right. One load. Good job, dump truck. Ha, <laughs> good job, excavator. Whoa, the second load. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one last load. 
Which is the third load? One, two, three. Yeah, look at that big load. Whoa, and look at what it is. Oh, oh, oh. we got it. Yeah, the snowmobile. Woohoo! Good job, excavator. Yeah, excavator did a really good job. <laughs> and good job, dump truck. Okay. Now the snowmobile can play in peace. What a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Attack of the bubbles! <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm. I wonder, how do you make bubbles? Great idea! We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Ready for adventure! The bubbles are from the car wash! Let's give it a wash! Hi! Oh, good boy! I'm Marvin, Marvin Bubbly! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... Wait a second. Are you a pop star? Oh. Haha, <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. <gasps> Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies. The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo -ba -doo -doo -boop. Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me... Let's make some more bubbles! And I know just a fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water Get them sized up on the soap Make a circle with your hands and blow! Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me if you can! I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high, Marvin!
Marvin, and thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye-bye, Marvin. Bye-bye, Blippi. Bye-bye, everyone. A real monster truck! Are you ready to learn about some monster trucks? Let's go! Whoa, look at that. It's a giant monster truck. Let's check out some of the parts of the monster truck. All that in there? That's the gears and the suspension. There's so much stuff going on in there. Whoa, yeah, the engine. The engine is right here. That's where the monster truck gets all of its power from. Ooh, and this, that big yellow thing, that's the body of the monster truck. Monster wheels and tires. Check it out! This green monster truck is doing a wheelie! Let's watch an instant replay and then watch a couple more monster truck wheelies! You're inside a real monster truck. Let me show you some of the parts. First off, you got in here because you went from the bottom. You get inside a monster truck from the bottom. And here's the first part I'll tell you about. This is the steering wheel. You steer the monster truck with this, okay? And then let's push the ignition button which then flips on all of your gauges, like your oil temperature, transmission temp, and your, your tack, which is your rotations per minute of the engine. Whoa, and how you make that engine go vroom is down here is the gas pedal. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And then this is the brake. That's how you stop the monster truck. All right, now let's watch some monster trucks. crashed. Whoa! 
Whoa! Look at how big this monster truck is. It stands about 12 feet tall. About two of me. Blippy! That was close. Want to see what it's like riding inside a real monster truck? It was really cool seeing inside a real monster truck while it drives. <laughs> it was really bumpy. Meet my friend Peyton. <laughs> he's a crew chief and he's gonna tell you a fact about his monster truck. So this monster truck weighs 10,000 pounds. Peyton is so cool, he gets to work on monster trucks all day long. And he even gets to wash their tires. I'd like monster trucks. Do you guys like monster trucks? That was so enjoyable learning about monster trucks with you.